Hello, my name is Mary Beth Wood, and I'm with WCI Consulting. Today I'm going to discuss how to optimize a query with query stripping and web intelligence. For today's demonstration, I am using Business Objects 4.2. Oftentimes, queries are built by users who may have brought in more objects than necessary into the report query. By enabling the query stripping feature, Webby will go back and rework the query by removing the unused objects from the SQL. This will increase the performance and allow the query to run much more efficiently. One note to add is that with a report using multiple queries, you can enable or disable query stripping for some or all of the queries. We will first need to open the business layer of the universe. For this demonstration, I am using the eFashion universe. Once the business layer is open, click on Query Options and check the box Allow Query Stripping. You will then need to save and export the uh, universe to the repository. Second, we will need to enable the query stripping uh, feature at the report level. For this example, I've created a simple Webby report using state, year, and sales revenue from the eFashion universe. I will start by opening the query panel and clicking on Query Properties and selecting Enable Query Stripping. Click OK and run the query. Next, we will need to change the document properties. Click on Properties and then Documents, and you should see an option that says Enable Query Stripping. Check that box and click OK. Now, if I go back to the query and I view the SQL, you can see that all three objects are still here. So in my report, if I decided to view the sales revenue by year and remove state, you can re remove state, refresh the report, um, you will see that state's not being used in the report, so it's highlighted under the available objects. I can go back um, to the query panel, view the script, and you will see that only the objects that are actually being used in the report or in um, the SQL. This would be a handy feature in a report with dozens of objects. This concludes today's tutorial on query stripping. Thank you.